This is day 53 in the Gaza-Israel war, and I'm Yair Pinto, reporting to you from Israel. The ceasefire between Israel and Hamas was extended to another two days, in which Hamas will release 10 additional Israeli hostages per day. This deal was orchestrated between Qatar, Egypt, and the United States, behind the scenes of Israel. An Israeli official stated that Israel will agree to the deal as long as Hamas provide the 10 additional hostages it promised to release every day. And these are the names of the 11 Israeli hostages that were released back to their families in Israel yesterday. 12-year-old Eitania Alomi, Sar Calderon, 16 years old, and her brother Erez, 13 years old. Ori Yaakov, 16 years old, and his brother Yagil, 12 years old. Sharon Aloni Konyo, 34 years old. And her daughters, her twin daughters, Emma Veyuli Konyo, aged three, and Krina Angelbert, aged 51, and her daughters, Mika, 18, and Yuval, 11. Yesterday was a very intense day, as in the early mornings, Hamas released a list of names that included babies, but did not include their mothers that were still being kept in the Gaza Strip. Israeli officials, and especially the head of the Mossad, said, no way, we will not accept this deal, while separating babies and infants from their mothers. The deal was close to collapsing and the fighting almost resumed between Israel and Hamas in the Gaza Strip. After an intervention by Qatar and Egypt, Hamas added the mothers to the list and the deal went through. This is another example of Hamas's mind games manipulation. An entire country is waiting and watching TV to see the babies, the mothers return to the loved one in Israel and Hamas is playing tricks on that very moment. Moreover, one of the hostages that was released claimed she saw Yechia Sinwar, the head of Hamas in the Gaza Strip and the orchestrator of the 7th of October massacre attacks in an underground tunnel, claiming that the hostages are safe in the hands of Hamas. The Israeli Defense Minister, Yoav Gallant, stated to the IDF troops that they should take these few days, relax and prepare because the enemy Hamas is preparing as well and Israel will resume its offensive against Hamas in the Gaza Strip with full force until we destroy this enemy. I can tell you personally that together with my fellow soldiers, we are ready to do whatever it takes to destroy Hamas and to release our hostages. Please join us in sharing the truth of what is happening in Israel with the rest of the world so that we can have the international backing to continue this fight. We need your help. And most importantly, please join us in prayer for the peace of Jerusalem and the safety of the Israeli soldiers that are risking their lives every day.